right. I'm going to start with a question. Suppose you live in rural India and you become ill, very ill. What do you do? Well, if you have money, you probably go to a city to get care. But if you don't have money, you get what care you can nearby. And if you're a woman, you might deliver your baby here. I grew up in a medium-sized town, actually not so far from here. I'm not sure which direction it is, but Halifax, Nova Scotia. And there, we had very good medical care. Um, I'm going to fast forward a couple years. I got some engineering degrees, and I was lucky enough to work on hopeful technologies in places like Kenya and Iraq and Burma. And what I saw was things like this, failed technologies, broken ones, or worse, ones off in a corner, unused. And what frustrated me was these products that intended to do good were doing nothing. And the people who most needed these technologies had no or very few options. So with DREV, I was able to create an organization that was focused on providing options for people who live on less than $4 a day. This is Kamal. My colleagues met him at a prosthetics clinic in Jaipur, India. He's 16 years old, and he's an amputee. He lost his leg in a motorcycle accident about right here. What are his options for something like this? Well, you can see he's got a bamboo staff, so he gets around using that. $20,000 knee, this is a microprocessor knee. No. This is what our American vets from Iraq or Afghanistan will wear. This is a low to mid-range knee. Could he get something like this? Well, perhaps, actually. It's donated. But if it's donated, it's been worn by someone probably heavier than him, either in the, from the US or Europe. Now, he might get something like this. And this has actually been designed specifically for poor people. But here's the kicker. The performance now is suffering. It's a single axis knee. So imagine walking on something like a door hinge. That's what a single axis knee is. This is a video clip of an amputee we call Ash walking on a single axis knee. And I want you to take a look at his stability. And imagine, he's doing a 10 meter walk test on very flat ground. Imagine rough terrain. This is the Jaipur knee. This was designed by my colleagues at DREV. It's a polycentric mechanism. So what this is is a four bar mechanism that behaves more like a regular knee. And it costs $80. But the cool thing is, is the key design feature is actually something that's not obvious. It's been designed to scale. So we can go mass production, which we're, planning, which we're doing next year, sell it to the millions of clinics around the world who need something like this. So people like Kamal can get it. And here you see Kamal. walking on our knee. Working with the Jaipur Foot Organization in India, we have fit more than 3,000 amputees. And we're providing options. And these aren't the only things we're designing. I'll tell you a little bit about our philosophy. There are three things we truly believe in, boiled down. The first is that these products can be world class, meaning that they perform on par or better than the best products on the market. And what you see here is a phototherapy device designed for severely jaundiced newborns. And it comes on the market later this year in India. But these products can be market driven, meaning that they need to be radically affordable. And that by purchasing a product, we as designers are held accountable for, for, for the quality, for, for what the value the customers see in it. And I love these two pictures because they're both markets in India. And on the left, this is what we usually think of as a market. But on the right is a medical device fair. And there you can see brilliance getting assembled. And that these products need to be user centric. They need to be designed for the person who buys them, who uses them, who maintains them. And here you see my colleague Kentaro talking to farmers about how they get information about crops. 
And this is a picture from a neonatal intensive care unit in India. And this is a mother with her child. And this is a major government hospital in a large city. But I want to tell you what I hope. And my hope is that these products won't just be used and have impact, but that they will catalyze industries. And they will shift expectations about what people think is possible so that anyone, anywhere, can go to a hospital and get the best care available. Thank you.